Hi, and welcome to Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and today I'm going to talk to you about Eternity Chain. So it's a new project that launched a couple of weeks ago on the 8th of March through Poker Starter, which is an IDO platform. And as you can see here on the screen, it's gone out significantly in the last 24 hours, 35% nearly. But in the last two weeks, it has gone from strength to strength, starting off close to around about $3 and going up to, like I said, 39 now coming on to 40. So what is it about this project that is pushing up so much? What do they do and where can you get it from? So just having a look at that first, uh, you can see from here, you can get it from Uniswap, One Inch Exchange, Gate.io. The main volume is through Uniswap and I'll just show you here on their platform. ERN is their token. So if you're looking for it, that's how you can buy it. So they, they've gone up a considerable amount and the market cap is sitting at around about 173 million USD, but I do believe it can go up a lot more. Now, yes, it is quite pricey, which you'll see for what it is now, but the, the value proposition that they are bringing, I think means that it can go up a considerable amount. Now they're involved in NFTs and it's been founded by someone called Nick Rose and he's been involved quite a bit in cryptocurrency in, in early investing. He has his own capital uh, cryptocurrency capital fund as well. I think it's called 10x. So it's someone who has been heavily involved in cryptocurrencies pretty much from the start. But as you can see here from the screen, they're very much involved in NFTs. So uh, you can you can mint them, you can auction them as well. They have staking and farming as well. However, there's there's a lot on their website yet that is still to be updated. And I think when they bring more information, that's when you're going to see uh, what they can actually do and what, what areas they're going to be involved in. They also have this thing where they're very focused on charity organizations and giving to, and, and I think that's reflective of their founder, Nick Rose, who is very much uh, conscious about these types of things too. And if I just bring you over here to uh, an auction that they had, Eternity, uh, which involved the the Winklevoss twins, Acello, who's a DJ, Paolo Maldini, who is a football legend, and they were involved uh, in the auction within this project as well of uh, NFTs. So, as you can see here, they, they are donating to charitable organizations. This has given them some coverage and they are getting celebrities involved. And those are just the headlines. It says that they had others as well. So just want to bring to your attention. That's also in addition to what, what they're doing. So if we just go back to here and just have a look. And again, it says coming soon. So that if you click on something like this, this staking, you'll be able to see how much staking the annual uh, percentage yield they're, you're, they're able to offer. That is quite a substantial amount. Uh, if you click on the farms, it says uh, coming soon. So you can't get details about that. And what I was just about to say earlier on as well, they're talking about NFTs in collectibles within these ranges. So you've got footballing legends, soccer stars, uh, music, films, icons, entrepreneurs. So it's a quite a wide range and there are some projects out there that you look at and you think well maybe they won't be able to do this i think eternity is one that will have the capability and clearly as you can see they are reaching out to celebrities already for these auction events so it's it's a great thing that they're doing i think in terms of nfts i think it's a very very big part of the market at the moment like i said there's not too much information on their website yet as to how they're doing it, what they're offering. I think they're still very much in the building phase. Like I mentioned, only two weeks ago it was launched, but I think it's one of the ones that will certainly grow to be much better. Now, it's it's all a matter of what you think it, it can possibly do in terms of what 
it says it can do. Now, if that's the case and you believe it's going to be able to provide NFTs in all of those ranges with some great individuals, um, then this market cap at the moment is considerably small. As you can see, it's just continuing to carry on going up. And it's not one of those ones that has shot up all of a sudden. Like I said, it has gradually gone up over those last couple of weeks, I think, as more and more people have known about it to see what they are doing. Um, and they've certainly got a very big engaged community behind them too. Uh, even on their Twitter, you'll be able to see 61,500 followers. So definitely a great um, project. They certainly have these celebrities involved in their auctions. They've got a good uh, backing behind them as well in terms of these VCs. As you can see here, they've got black uh, Edge Capital, Morningstar Ventures, and a, and a few more as well. And I think that certainly goes to show that they were able to convince these VCs that they have great things coming, and obviously they believe in them too. So there's Eternity Chain. Like I said, they don't have too much on their website, but I think what they're doing, the backing that they have, the team that they led, uh, the team that they have, who they're led by as well, um, and what they're promising to bring I think will be absolutely great. And they're certainly getting the media coverage. They're certainly uh, getting people behind them, the community as well. And as I mentioned, that's reflective of the price. Like I always do say, um, you know, see what's in line with your strategy. If you think that this has already gone up too much and you were looking for you know, that 10x, uh, then obviously then this one wouldn't be for you. If you're thinking, well, this is great, I'm in it for the long term, even if it does go up to free, people believe in this. I, I think the difference is as well is when you get in the start, maybe you, you don't know what people will think of it and you don't know how people will react to a new project either. So sometimes people do like to wait to see what happens and how it's adopted. Sometimes projects that are absolutely amazing are not adopted too well and people don't really buy into it that much. On the flip side, there are projects that haven't done too much, but people really do believe in it. The community get right behind it. They start to do a few things where people think, this is great. I do want to be a part of this and I do want to buy it for the long term. And then that begins to get confidence and, and more and more people do begin to invest into it. So I do bring you some coins that have just kind of come out or that are about to be newly listed. I also do bring you some coins that have been listed or come out a couple of weeks or a week after I, I make a video on them. And, and that gives a quite a bit of a range as to what the the, the, the sort of the type of videos that I do bring in and how the the investor sentiment for that is as well. So that's Ethernity Chain. Like I said, I think it is a great project. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to have in terms of their collectibles, who they get on board for those as well. And I'm sure those will go for, for a, a fantastic amount in terms of price. It's something that people not only want to own and have because they're unique, I think also it's one of those things where people are buying them because they know they will go up in value. Like you get the football cards, um, basketball cards, baseball cards as well. Uh, even in Pokemon and so on. There's such a wide range. And after, after a while, they do go up in value. So I think NFTs is something that is great at the moment. I think it's going to be even bigger. I think we're just starting off. I made a video on Ecomi as well a couple of weeks ago, and, and I think they're doing great things in this space too. And I think by the end of the year, we're going to see these type of things really dominating 2021 in the crypto world. So there you have it. That's Eternity Chain. I hope you've enjoyed that, found it informative. If you have, as always, please do give me a like. Please do consider subscribing. I've been Cal. This is Crypto Crazy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.